Hello, I'm Tripti Nath and I'm delighted to have with me today Chef Deepak Verma, who is an out-of-the-ordinary guest uh, in our studio today and who will take us into the charming world of Avadi cuisine and acquaint us with its irresistible dishes, some of which deserve the GI tag. Chef Deepak Verma passed out of the Institute of Hotel Management, Catering and Nutrition, Pusa, in New Delhi in 1984. He began his career from Hotel Clark's Shiraz, Agra. He then moved on to ITDC, the Ashok Group of Hotels, and served in various properties across India. He then worked as executive chef in Shipra Mosaic, Noida, and with Blue Foods in Central Kitchen, Gurugram, and Melting Pot, which was a chain of food courts across Delhi National Capital Region. While food remains his first love, Chef Verma, who originally hails from Fatehpur in Uttar Pradesh, is now only a call away for any individual company or restaurant keen to have their kitchen designed. So welcome once again, Chef Verma, to our studio. Thank you, Tripti. Uh, let me begin by asking you the geographical area where the tradition of Avadi cuisine is practiced. Is it only Lucknow, the state capital, and surrounding areas or even beyond? Uh, the, the Ganges Valley of, of Lucknow and surrounding areas was where this Avadi cuisine started turning up. Uh, this, uh, the, the first ruler was Burhan, uh, from, who was from Persian origin who conquered this place and uh, who was kind of first Nawab and the Nawabs came at that time when the Mughals were winning off. Mm -hmm. So uh, it gained prominence and uh, so the area is Lucknow and uh, surrounding areas which also the Britishers, they uh, named it as United Province for Agra and Aud. They right. used to call it Aud. So that is the basically area about that. But it is I would say it's located more between around Lucknow itself because mm -hmm. India is a very diverse country and uh, every state you walk, walk every hundred kilometers the cuisine changes. Right. So the, the, the heart of the, of the cuisine remains in Lucknow and surrounding areas only. So let's begin with your uh, uh, you know hometown Fatehpur which is not very far from <laughs> Lucknow. Yeah. How different is the cuisine from uh, Lucknow? Uh, to what it is in Fatehpur. See, Fatehpur is a laid-back laid back town. Uh, so it's a small district, which is quite laid-back. Now with the influence of all these chains coming in, the food is available. But there is a lot of roti and that's it. Uh, very less of non-veg is eaten out there. So, uh, Lucknow ka influence never came on Kanpur or beyond. Mm -hmm. My district is near Kanpur, more than Lucknow. Mm -hmm. So, we cannot compare the cuisines because our cuisine was developed by Nawabs very intricately and uh, they really grew with that and become perfected that almost I would say. So that is an incomparable cuisine towards <laughs> I would I with any other cuisine. Okay. So some of the most celebrated dishes of Avadi cuisine include kebabs, biryani, korma and nihari. Kebabs are mostly made of minced meat or vegetable bound in Correct. the shape of discs or cylindrical forms. Lucknow is really proud of its kebabs. Right. And uh, there are several varieties of popular kebabs in Avadi cuisine like kakori kebabs, galauti kebab, shami kebab, boti kebab, uh, patili ke kebab. A gutwa kebab and Sikh kebabs and, yeah. and they are among the known varieties. What is the demand for these dishes among clients outside Uttar Pradesh? No, uh, this Saudi cuisine has become now a global cuisine. In the sense that the demand is there because of the beautiful taste that Avadi cuisine has. So it's uh, demand everywhere and you get these Avadi cuisines in every city, every corner around, especially metropolitan cities. And uh, the popularity is fantastic, fantastic. Mm -hmm. the, like the dampukt is is hard to the, the Avadi cuisine. The kebabs are hard to Avadi cuisine. And uh, what is uh, important in Avadi cuisine, if I compare it with the Lucknowi cuisine, is uh, to the, uh, the Mughlai cuisine, is that Avadi cuisine has a as a kind of a menu which is followed. I mean, you cannot have any dish any time. This is kind of like in French, you have those uh, eleven courses from starters right. to sorbet to entree to legumes. 
So similarly, in the Avdi Kuzdin also, the Dastakhan was made, laid, and the dishes used to come one by one, not all laid at one at one place. So that way, it is it's it's very delicate cuisine. Uh, what is popular in Avdi Kuzdin is that uh, you don't eat food, you eat nazakat. Uh-huh. And the nazakat and mannerism is very very important in Avdi Kuzdin. Right. So that makes it a little more special than the way the food is laid out. And the and food is laid out. And served and eaten that way. Yeah, I remember once I happened to be in France uh, with a French friend, and mm-hmm. I think uh, the comparison seems to remind me of that. Uh, and I think her father on Christmas Eve spent forty-five minutes just laying the table. <laughs> <laughs> I was hungry. Yeah. See, so, the food is to be savored, right. not eaten. You eat the food first with your eyes, then with your nose, and then with the mouth. Oh wow! So that that thing exactly that's what happens in French cuisine, which is my favorite cuisine, mm-hmm. which, my, which I specialize in, and uh, the Avdi cuisine, quite similar, I must say. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I understand that the Avdi cuisine attains its uh, distinctive flavor under the patronage of the Nawabs of Awadh, uh, Burhan ul Mulk Sadat Khan, who you already yeah, mentioned, who was uh, f- from Persian origin. Yeah, the first Nawab yeah. was of Persian origin, and the cuisine that was perfected in the royal kitchens yeah. of the Nawabs was a harmonious blend of Mughal, Persian, and local influences. Yes. To yes. what extent have people in, uh, you know, the connoisseurs and the practitioners? How, to what extent have they preserved this age-old tradition? Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, the the cuisine was developed because of him, uh, him being in per, per Persian origin. Mm-hmm. So local cuisine and the Persian cuisine and the Indian cuisine, there's a blend of all the cuisines happening mm-hmm. in. And uh, most of this has been preserved. The, the old techniques mm-hmm. have been preserved. But if you see, go back and look at the, the Nawabi uh, royal kitchens, then they had dastagars, dast, uh, they had bavarchis. Bavarchis were people who used to make food for the entire family day in, day out, right? It is not just one particular for the for the family, for the servants who are there, people living in. So the food is prepared by the. So the bavarchis were Hindus or Muslims? Bavarchis are bavarchis. Chef ki, ki jaat nahi hoti. Oh, great. Chef is, doesn't have any jaat at all. So, Bavarchi is a, an Urdu word. Bavarchi is an Urdu word, Urdu but word. Uh, actually, because uh, they they had a hierarchy in the kitchen, uh-huh. uh, Nawabs. So, Bavarchi is a people who used to do the protein food. Like you have da, chef chawal, and sous yeah, chef. Yeah, yeah. So, executive chef, corporate chef, executive chef, sous chef, no? that way. And then you got CDPs, Chef the Parthes, who are mm-hmm. the section heads. So, Bhavashi is a general cooks. Dal, chawal, sabji, roti, every day. Oh, tumble, I see. Every, the every staple. Day. Staple. Tumble food. Mm-hmm. But the Astarkhans were people who used to specialize in their particular dish. Like uh, one, one Dastarkhan would specialize in mutton. Or maybe mm-hmm. specialize in chicken. Or maybe specialize in beef. So, he'll like make a birani. Maybe a birani. So, he'll make only a dambuk birani. He'll do nothing else. So, they, uh, that is why these... Then, then the uh, Bhavashi and Dastarkhans then there were nanzos who were only making breads. Ah, Rumali, right, right, right. Rumalis and Shirmal and Bakarkhani and Tanduri rotis. And what is Bakarkhani? Bakarkhani is a kind of roti which is uh, East uh, East ki roti hoti hai. It is uh, cooked in Tandoor. Oh. Shirmal is a take on Bakarkhani which is sweet but made on griddle. So, so uh, these are different varieties. Hain, sari varieties. So, 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 these nanzos were kind of bakers. A I baker see. would not cook. A cook will not bake. Oh, wow. So, they had segregation of uh, this. Roles uh, were very well defined. Yeah, yeah. Very well defined. So, that is why the Bawashis were general cooks and the Dastar Khans were very respected. Mm. Now, what happened with Dastar Khans are because they were so secretive about their recipes that they only, they taught nobody these recipes. Only their sons and sons and sons, only the family. And that is why it is one of the reasons that mo- many of the fine, delicate recipes are lost. We were not writing the recipes. They were all in the brain. They were passed on generation to generation. And when the generation finished off, the recipes went off. So, yes, that we lost a lot of recipes. But, yes, a lot of recipes are still there. And chefs are creative. They make new recipes every, mm. every time. So, um, that's it. Right. So, Avadi food is often confused with Mughal food. It I is. mean, you also made a passing yeah. uh, reference to it. So, what is the exact difference? Uh, 
there is no exact different structures, but Mughal food was very rich food. Mm -hmm. Nuts and creams and uh, khoya and uh, milk mm. and you know lot of dairy, lot of fruits, lot of dry fruits they used in Mughal cuisine uh, with a lot of meat, so of course, and the spices were always there. Mm -hmm. But Mughal cuisine is more towards the having the right kind of mm -hmm. spices. Mm -hmm. Our cuisine does not go much into nuts and mm -hmm. fruits and uh, uh, things like that. But they were more keen about the spices. Mm -hmm. zira, konsa, you know, they don't use zira as such for every dish. They'll use sahi zira for some dish. They'll use zira normal for some Zira food. as in cumin seeds. Cumin seeds. I cumin see. seeds. The shahi zira is a, mm -hmm. is a patla version of uh, mm -hmm. uh, cumin, which is more flavorful. So the balance of the spices in Avadi cuisine much more than it was in mm. uh, Mughal food. Right. So you also mentioned Dampukt style of preparation. Yeah. What exactly is Dampukt? Dampukt, basically speaking, is uh, a birani made uh, in a thick bottom vessel, which is quite deep enough. And uh, all the meats and the vegetables and the rice is all cooked together. Mm. Now, Dam means uh, to breathe. Dam mm. is, means to breathe in Urdu and uh, Pukht means to cook. So what they used to do was they have a big vessel, thick bottom vessel, put all the meats and vegetables in that and then cover it with a lid and mm -hmm. seal it with a dough and uh, artists seal it with so, and slow cooking for hours, sometimes overnight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, the idea was to let the food breathe in its own juices mm -hmm. and aromas. So the flavor of the food coming to rice or the flavor of rice coming to the meat was excellent. Now, there's a, there's a legend behind it, uh, uh, if I'm right. There was a uh, Nawab Asaf, mm -hmm. some, somebody, who uh, at the time there was a fami famine in uh, towards Lucknow, mm -hmm. the plains, the valleys. Man. And uh, so the people didn't have food to eat. So he instructed to make a, uh, it's actually a building, uh, to make a bada mam bada. Mm -hmm. That's a right, huge right, building right. it is. So thousands of laborers Very used to work beautiful. out there. Mm -hmm. So basically, to not to give the free food, but you are working and you have your food. Right. So then... It's a very you, noble way of... Yeah, noble uh, way of giving. The, the sentiment of the worker is not hurt. Yeah. yeah I'm not being not offered a charity, free food. Yeah. Not charity, but I'm working for my food. So then the big patilas, they started making... Now, because the laborers were there, the quantity has to be huge. So they put to have the nutrition and the uh, and the taste. They put all the vegetables and the rice and everything together mm -hmm. in the same place, cover it up, and then slow cook for it about for two or three hours, and then serve to everybody. Now there's a story behind it that one of the nabavs was walking through and this the, they opened this uh, the patila to serve the food and the he got the smell of. That beautiful smell of all the aroma. spices and uh, the fantastic aroma of the spices and of meat and the rice and everything. So he liked it very much. So then he took those, that recipe, took his Nawabi kitchens, go to his Dastakhans, see this is what I saw. So then they refined Dastakhans over the period uh -huh. of time, they refined it and reached what Dampuk is, Dampuk Birani we see today. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a beautiful Birani. There's another Birani uh, food called Gile. Gile, Gile something. And uh, like Dampuks is cooked over a fire. Now Gile uh, kebabs are cooked under the soil. Under the soil? Under the soil. They marinate the meats and the vegetables and whatever they wanted to have and then uh, put roll in banana leaf, cover that with multani mitti mm -hmm. and then put it under the uh, the, the zameen mein gaar de te usko and the fire used to be on top. Oh. And it's to get cooked in that wow. and cook about three hours, four hours, and then you have right. Uh, so is anybody in. still doing that? It's still still thing. I mean, see, all the cuisines everywhere is same. You have patra machi, mach in uh, Parsis, it's very famous. Uh -huh. This, uh, uh, the arbi ke patte that we have in Bihar is uh -huh. also cooked almost the same style. We got uh, keli ke patte mein jo mach mashli hoti, I'm forgetting the name of the Bengali dish. But that is cooked in the oh. banana leaf, almost like that. So, the entire India... The South things, India also South has. South India also they has. They serve on banana leaves. They serve leaf. on banana leaves. And even Gujarat, I had something which yeah. was uh, 
uh, they were like uh, like khandvis kind of thing yeah uh, no they were like spring rolls yeah yeah, yeah 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 you know with some dal bhat or some yeah, filling yeah, and yeah. it was very tasty so what is the importance of spices in avadi cuisine that's very very important because i once went to tunde kebab in lucknow uh-huh. and i was told like what you were talking about that uh, the recipes are never shared they are not shared uh, beyond the four walls of the family yeah. and uh, every day i don't know how many thousands of spices yeah go into their cooking what what uh, and they don't share it with anybody they don't share it with anybody uh, what is famous about kunde kebab is that uh, tunde kebab was named tunde kebab mm-hmm. because of right. his arm right. he right. didn't have arm and the spices were made by his wife mm-hmm. it is said i don't know how true that is that there are about 160 spices that go in yeah, the right kebab. even i heard that 172 uh, 172 or something, or something 160 right. something like that and this is they are still made by the uh, wives the ladies of the family right uh, at their home and they're not shared so yes uh, and the now tundi kebab is all over india oh yes and uh, even at the airport there is the airport there it is there but i uh, um, i uh, i think see the the masalas because they all franchises mm-hmm. they're not straight to tunde walas they all franchises by the given right. by tunde tunde kebab so the spices the the garam masala that is supplied is from lucknow from tunde kebab still oh really so he came in since the taste because of that the flavor is really good so you've told us about uh, kebabs and you know rotis and yeah uh, what about uh, vegetarian dishes uh, I mean, Avadi cuisine is very rich in non-vegetarian dishes. It is very dishes. rich in non-vegetarian uh, because ninety-nine point nine percent of the uh, uh, Nawabs of the royal family were non-vegetarians. Right. <coughs> so they never got into as such uh, into vegetarian dishes. But yes, uh, India being very rich in the vegetables, so they experimented a lot with kathal, with arbi, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with the chana. There's a uh, kebab called dalcha kebab. It is made by mixture of dals. Oh, really? Uh, it's called dalcha kebab. It's very, very nice. It's very succulent. Uh, the, the how galavati came also is a bit, see the, all the food that happens, no, all over the world. I must say, not just uh, the Avati cuisine. That the food does not just happen. It happens because of some reason. There's always a story behind uh, the food. There's a legend behind the food. Mm-hmm. So it is supposed to. Uh, there was a, there was a nawab called Nawab Wajid, I suppose, who got old and could not eat the meat, but he wanted mm-hmm. to have the meat. Mm-hmm. So he asked his uh, dastar khans to make some meat item for him, mm-hmm. so that he which does not require too much chewing, and that is that is how the galavati came. It's a very fine smith of mm-hmm. of meat. It is supposed. It is said that if you can pick up galavati, uh, uh, galavati kebab, and it does not break, it is not galavati. It has to be so oh, soft. Oh, that's the litmus test. That the litmus test. You cannot pick up a, a galavati kebab. Oh. It is so soft and succulent, like. Uh, there is again. I don't forget the name, but there was a king in UK in Europe. I must say, who was very keen into gambling. He used to gamble and play a lot of chess. Even Shatranj ke khirali also came from that kind of story. So he was so involved in gambling and playing chess, no, that he didn't have time to eat food. So the 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 royal kitchen put some meat in the bread, and that's how the sandwich came mm-hmm. to being. I see. So similarly, galavati so came to be because of. So when you say every food has a story. Every food has a story behind it. Oh, that's interesting. And uh, tell us about the avdi sweet dishes other than firni and. Uh, avdi sweet dishes. What about the shahi shahi? Tukra. My mother Sha- used to make it. Shahi I wonder tukra. what it's. Uh, see, is it from Lucknow? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's from Lucknow. Uh, made with the, again, there's a story behind it. Uh, shahi tukra is basically made with bread. Simply speaking, a bread which is cooked in uh, cooked bread which is cooked in Uh, milk, okay. Mm-hmm. So these uh, Mughals, no, these Muslims, the uh, bakers, so they, they used to mm-hmm. make very good uh, rusks, mm-hmm. which are still very good. The Muslims make the best best rusks really? in the world. Yeah, and even when in Nahal ke pas me ek tha, in Nahal ke pas me ek Muslim tha, used to make very good rusks. So they would take the rusk, rusk pade me, dud pada hua hai, like cornflakes and milk. Mm-hmm. So you have the rusk in that. So somebody thought, why not cook it? So they made the Milk a little thicker, added khoe into that, little more added nuts into that, and that becomes shahi tukra. Mm-hmm. So shahi tukra basically is a dish made out of cooked bread or rusk or whatever mm-hmm. whatever kind of mm-hmm. that cooked again in the milk with nuts and khoe on top. Mm-hmm. So desserts made there were more of uh, rab was there. There was 
खीर ऑफ कोर्स वॉज देयर दे वॉज सेवैयाँ बहुत चलती थी उस टाइप पे सो दिस नॉट अवध कुछ दिन डज नॉट हैव टू बिग रेंज ऑफ स्वीट फूड एंड वॉट अबाउट रबड़ी रबड़ी केम फ्रॉम दैट टाइम और नो रबड़ी वॉज अगेन ऑफ शूट आपने आप खोए हो शाइट कर ले आप मिल्क को थिक कर रहे हो एंड मिल्क इज थिक यू एडेड क्रीम इन टू दैट यू एडेड खोया इन टू दैट यू एडेड नट्स इन टू दैट नाउ द ब्रेड इज नॉट देयर एनी मोर ब्रेड खत्म हो एंड देर इज सम स्वीट बटर वक्खन दैट सेल्स ऑन द स्वीट्स ऑफ लखनऊ स्टिल इज वेरी पॉपुलर I don't know. It it sells See, in no. Lucknow food is a very rich food, right? It sells in these big pots, and yeah. they go all over the place, and yeah, they're still yeah, selling. Yeah, yeah, because वो घर का बड़ा मक्खन होता है, not churned out, and uh, the Lucknowi food. I'm saying all of UP. I must say, I'm from UP, so mm-hmm. I'm saying this thing. They're very very fond of uh, ghee, and ghee has to be there. Dal ke andar bhi, dal ke baar bhi. Khichdi mein bhi. Khichdi mein to. मेरे पापा बोलते हैं. हर की दाल में. हाँ, मेरे पापा बोलते हैं खिचड़ी के हैं चार यार. पापड़ घी दही अचार या दी बिहारी इज आल्सो हैव द सेम नोशन तो तो द फूड इज वेरी रिच एंड सो दैट यूज्ड द बटर इज स्टिल यूज्ड एवरी इन यूपी स्पेशली या दे कान डू विदाउट दे कान डू विदाउट बटर टेल मी अबाउट इट सो द लास्ट थिंग आई वांट टू आस्क यू इज एक्चुअली टू क्वेश्चंस वन इज दैट अदर देन द बनारसी पान दैट हैज गॉट द जीआई टैग दिस ईयर Uh, what are the other dishes that you think observe the geographical index tag i'm not sure whether tunde kebab has got the jet i'm not sure about that but yes tunde kebab kakori kebab are something which are to die for and they should be jet t- tagged mm-hmm. very very right. uh, other than that one more dish that comes to my mind because i'm a hardcore non vegetarian is that boti kebab boti mm-hmm. kebab is chunks of meat marinated over a period of time and then cooked over the the, the, the sigri but it is succulent it is beautiful mm-hmm. abhi i was doing a design the kitchen near uh, uh, lucknow mm-hmm. so i stayed in lucknow only to have tunde kebab so i went oh. in that street aminabad gaya main i had just i visited about 25 30 places where mumbai pe bhi pani aa raha hai so i visited about 25 places I had kebabs here had boti here had ali mein here but it wasn't the same no it is fantastic it is beautiful it was no nothing compared to tunde is it or no, everywhere you found what it. is a different thing altogether. okay boti kebab is different thing tunde kebab is different thing right so i had tunde kebab bade ke bhi chote ke bhi mm-hmm. authentic hai matlab authentic shop mm-hmm. the hotel i was staying in they should ki hum manga dete hain aapko magar nahi i have to You'll go, go there, there yeah go there and have that's a different uh, like the dal gosht all together the dal gosht that you got get out there is fantastic Beautiful. sorry the dal dal gosht they they cook dal with meat really and this is fantastic awesome which dal Uh, could be any dal, but oh, okay. predominantly chana and uh, arhar mixed together. Oh, I see. Yeah. They also have a concept of uh, some kind of uh, dal cutlets. Yeah, I told you dal cha kebab. Okay. Dal cha kebab is a kebab made of dal, ah. totally vegetarian kebab. Which kabab. dal is it? Any dal? Mixed dal. Mixed, mixed dal. Okay. Masoor and malka and urad and chana all mixed together. So it has been almost maybe forty uh, years since you passed out, right? Mm. from the institute of hotel management yeah what do you think has changed in these institutes and uh, <laughs> uh what is your uh, uh advice to students who are aspiring for a career in hotel management uh, see it's a, it's a very good line it's a very nice line very lucrative and now the uh, the the career choices are not for the chefs it not just making food Like I worked as chef for 25 years, wow. and last 15 years I'm designing kitchens for hotels, hospitals, mm-hmm. kitchen at the back of the house for all these F&B, any F&B outlet I'm designing that. Mm-hmm. Recently I got a project in Ayodhya where I'm going to Ayodhya. design Ayodhya. I'm wow. going to design the base kitchen and hotel kitchens in the first phase, and then total about four base kitchens and about 24 kitchens. I'm, I'm designing that, and uh, it's going to be huge. Uh, the footfall expected is about three and three and a half lakh rupees lakh footfalls every day. Mm-hmm. So people, when, visitors, visitors, visitors. Because when the Ram Mandir opens mm-hmm. up, no, right. then they expect this kind of thing. Sure. So is it so, around the Ram Mandir? Yeah. Oh. So the first we are using the this place called Surya Kund. Mm-hmm. Yahan par log ja ke na hatha jaroor hai. Near the Bharat Palace. Something like that. Okay. Rani Palace. Rani Palace. Rani Palace. Rani Palace. 
एंड वहाँ पर किस मान्यता ये है कि जो एनी स्किन डिजीज दैट यू हैव यू टेक अ डिप इन दैट पुल द फर्स्ट एरिया इन दैट डिजाइनिंग दैट सो वट एम टेन टू लियर्स की द कैरियर चॉइसिस इज नॉट जस्ट मेकिंग फूड इट इज लॉट ऑफ थिंग अदर थिंग्स विच आर विच आर डाइवर्सिफाइड लॉट बट यस मेहनत बहुत है राइट पहले दस साल भूल जाओ अपने बारे में एंड उसके बाद सोचोगे क्या करना है सो थैंक यू सो मच शेफ वर्मा फॉर गिविंग अस एन इंसाइट इन टू अवधि क्विजीन बट आई एम फीलिंग very cheated and very tempted <laughs> i haven't got anything to eat so far <laughs> you're a vegetarian <laughs> yeah, i eat and, fish yeah you're yeah. a vegetarian right <laughs> so uh, these all this cuz is no if you uh, what i say the best of the vegetarian food vegetarian food is in bihar or whatever mm-hmm. uh, rajasthan has got very good uh, vegetarian uh, vegetarian food rajasthan has got very good vegetarian food if you go towards kashmir the vegetarian food is very less so it is mm-hmm. fantastic the Na- yeah. nadru is beautiful बट वहाँ पर प्रियमली चलता है नॉन वेज आइटम्स मीट्स सो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट अवध वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट मीट्स थैंक यू सो मच थैंक्स वंस अगेन थैंक्स लॉट थैंक यू